Hey, Bulls and Bears, it is Monday, December 20th, 2021. The Fed has signaled that they are ready to crash the markets. Now, do we believe what the Fed is telling us? If we believe what the Fed is telling us, they're going to end asset purchases starting in about March of next year. And that could have major implications on the markets, housing market, stock market. And that's going to bleed over to jobs. Remember, when there's economic bubbles, the jobs are created from the bubbles. But let's talk about this article here and answer the question. Ask the question, and maybe you can tell me on comments. Please let me know what you think. Is the Fed really going to do what's being said? Let's take a look at this article right here. And this came out a few days ago. Fed doubles pace of tapering, warms to rate hikes in 2022 as inflationary pressures rise. Well, here's the bigger revelation from the Fed. And as this article puts it, let's take a look. And this is in regards to the pace of tapering or reducing their asset purchases. The new pacing would bring all asset purchases to a full stop by March 2022. All asset purchases. Do you believe that? So we've uncovered on this channel many times in many different scenarios how the Fed has been one, completely wrong, or two, uh, just blatantly, completely just lying to us. If you ask somebody like Greg Manorino, Gregory Manorino, uh, he doesn't trust anything the Fed puts out, even the charts. He says the charts are probably just, in many cases, uh, not correct. Uh, what do we believe anymore? After the Fed has been wrong for so many times, for so many years, do we believe anything they say? Uh, can we even believe the charts, all right? Uh, their asset balance sheet could be twice as high as they're telling us. You know, who, who can really prove or disprove it, right? So what do you believe? What don't you believe? The best thing we could do though is try to prepare uh, for what could be coming. If the Fed stops all asset purchases, the markets will correct because this is a bubble and lots of different markets are affected. This is a bubble of just a magnitude that we've never seen before. So for the Fed to come out and say this now, that's pretty big news. Uh, a quicker taper would allow the Fed to move earlier and perhaps more aggressively on interest rate hikes. Now, that's another thing. As far as the rate hikes go, the type of language that the Fed is using, as many as three rate hikes in 2022, what, is, what does as many mean? As many means at the most, but it could also mean zero, none. As many as three, okay? As many, one, two, three. No more than three. Three being the maximum. Could be zero rate hikes. They're telling us as many as three rate hikes. That it doesn't mean anything. It could mean zero. It just means that not more than three. Right? And just look at all the deceptive and um, language that could be translated in many different ways. Right? Trans transitory inflation. They finally came out and admitted that was wrong. Uh, so what do we believe? What don't we believe? Please let me know down in comments. Uh, but when it comes to... Asset purchases, yes, this could, have, this could have major impacts on the market. You're going to see the housing market correct, the stock market correct. But will the Fed do what they're going to do? One, and even if they say they're going to do it when the time comes, uh, will they really be doing it? They could be still buying these assets in the background. Again, there's no way for anyone to know. If you work for the Fed, maybe let us know down in comments what's going on. Now the markets got rocked today pretty good. The Dow Jones down over 400 points. All major indexes in the red. Uh, S&P down over 1%. Now they're saying this is because the sickness concerns. Well, the sickness has been around for a while. Why is it just now that the markets are concerned about the sickness? Uh, the sickness. Also, the Build Back Better did not get approved. We had one person, uh, one lawmaker that did not uh, vote for it and that caused the whole thing to get put on the shelf for now. Uh, what else is happening in the markets? Gold down, silver down, oil down to $66, down over 6% just today here on Monday, December 20th. Will this translate into lower gas prices? Uh, we'll have to see. All right, but let's look at the big picture here. And this is why we've said, and why I said, I haven't given, I do not give investment advice, but why I have held some cash and people said I was crazy because the markets are just going to go up forever, right? That's what people said. Uh, if you're 100% invested in the markets and there is a correction, if the Fed actually does what they're saying they're going to do, if they're going to stop all asset purchases, then you're going to see big, 
big drops in the market because this thing has been juiced by easy money, low interest rate, Fed policies, asset purchases to infinity, unlimited bailouts, unlimited propping up of the banks. Uh, the next thing we have to look at is the fractional reserve system. Will the banks continue to be able to loan out endless amounts of money out of thin air? If so, what the Fed or what the banks could do is they could technically pick up the slack and just start loaning out more money, loosen the lending standards even more. Pretty soon you won't even have to have a credit score, uh, which they're already doing in certain auto loans, uh, certain car dealership uh, in-house financing are eliminating the credit score requirement. And we reported on that here a few months ago. Uh, so yes, the banks could come out and loosen the lending even further to pick up the slack and therefore just bloat their own balance sheets without the Fed there to monetize the debt, without the Fed being able to take away those bad assets or those loans off of their books. Uh, how long can the banks do that? And will the banks do that? Still a lot of questions out there. But just looking at what the Fed's talking about, yes, this could be major implications for the bubbles for the markets. A correction. We need a correction. Out here in California, I'm seeing homes sell for a million dollars, sometimes more than a million dollars. They're small homes. They're not even nice homes. They're about 1,200, 1,400 square feet. Uh, nothing special. Cookie cutter homes where the neighbors, you know, 15 feet away, not much acreage, not much uh, yard to, to do things in or to start a garden. And uh, these people are going out and paying almost a million dollars in some cases. Now, the average, look at it countywide, San Diego County, 750,000. Uh, this just came out a few days ago. I haven't checked it here in a while. Uh, 750,000 median home price. Uh, so this is obviously out of whack, not just here in San Diego, but nationwide when you look at incomes and how can you have such a disconnect uh, between incomes and home prices? Well, it's easy money, it's debt, it's institutional buying. And that's another thing. If home prices do correct, what's going to happen? Will institutions just come in and buy up all the homes that people can no longer uh, buy because of the interest rates might be going up uh, because the banks, uh, maybe the banks will tighten uh, their guidelines. Um, we don't really know. We're in uncharted territory. But what we can do is we can be prepared for this. And it's interesting, like certain assets we've seen move with the markets. If the markets go down, will cryptos go down or will it be looked at as a safe haven? Well, today metals are down, gold and silver both. So what is the safe haven? Well, I'm in a little bit of everything, a little bit of gold, uh, silver, mostly silver though, not much gold. Still some stocks, very small percentage in stocks and most of those are mining stocks. Um, still in cryptos, also still in cash. That way if prices do correct, maybe I'll be able to pick up some bargains, uh, who knows. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep an eye on the Fed balance sheet and hopefully they're being honest about their balance sheet. But the Fed balance sheet is gonna tell us the picture and over the next few weeks, we're going to continue to keep an eye on that to tell us what's really going to happen, what to expect a few months from now. And uh, we hope you come back for more updates. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you're not already because we're entering a very, very important phase for this economy and this entire monetary system. Uh, major changes coming up here, uh, folks. So be on top of the game. Please like, subscribe. Talk to you very soon. Stay well. Stay safe. Keep stacking. Bye for now. Peace.